okay? So, of course, sometimes you are a victim. When you wake up on your holiest day and 1,500 of your fellow Jews are slaughtered, yeah, that you are the victim of terrorism. I'll just be very honest. Uh, and that's the equivalent of 50,000 Americans. So, Hello, beautiful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are tuned in from. Today we'll be checking out another amazing video by Charlie Cook titled Charlie Cook takes on students who accused Israel of playing victim. Wow. I believe this is going to be a very interesting and educative topic. So let's start with the video. Go. Given the current situation, the, the attacks on October 7th, um, I feel like the nation of Israel might have been, uh, have, has been doing that in sense of uh, referring to the attacks uh, as Israel's 9-11 while simultaneously funding Hamas. If this is Israel's 9-11, which we use our own 9-11 to fund decades of war to fill the pockets of military contractors, how do we look at what's going on right now and avoid making the same mistake? Yeah, yeah I, 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 get, I get that question. So I, I want to make sure I'm, I'm very morally clear here. Um, sometimes you are a victim, right? If you get shot on the streets of L.A., you are a victim. The problem is we have a supply and demand problem with victimology in the West. We have a bunch of people that are incredibly blessed walking around acting like victims because somebody said something that offended them, okay? So, of course, sometimes you are a victim. When you wake up on your holiest day and 1,500 of your fellow Jews are slaughtered, yeah, that you are the victim of terrorism. I'll just be very honest. Uh, and that's the equivalent of 50,000 Americans. So, and, and I will also say, though, that to Israel's credit, they're taking matters into their own hands. And while they are trying to, of course, encourage and increase sympathy for their cause, it's now Hamas that's playing the victim. It's now Hamas that says, oh, stop bombing us, stop doing all this. And I'll be honest, it falls on deaf ears for me. It's like, wait a second, did you not launch an unprompted attack into civilian corridors, into homes and schools and nurseries on a holy day? So, you know, spare, spare me your caterwauling. You guys were the ones that launched this war, and war is nasty, war is awful, and they're saying they'll do it again. The Hamas leader comes out and he says, just a matter of time until every single day is October 7th. To your point, which I really resonate with, is that I'm not a neoconservative. I do not believe our foreign policy should be an instrument to remake foreign countries in a quote-unquote Western image. I think that the Iraq and the Afghanistan war teaches us that. And I think we need to be, that's why in my remarks, I emphasize the border, what's happening in our own country. We need to balance what's happening in Israel, which is obviously important, but also understand that we have some serious problems here in this country. And I do not like when leaders focus more time, energy, and attention on foreign conflicts than our own. Wow. What an interesting debate, though it wasn't heated as expected, but you can tell this is very educative and i think the, the 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 young man the gentleman the student as you might call it uh is trying to uh say uh, let, let me read the topic out again charlie kick takes on students who accuse israel of playing victim uh i think uh that's that actually direct to the question it asks you believe israel are the one playing victim uh, maybe they are the one, you know, funding Hamas to, to, to be bombing, to be bombing their people. And I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. And I believe Israel as a country have really tried to make peace. I've really tried to make peace. If you can check on record, I don't actually know the date, but I think around 2006, around 2006, Israel gave up their land gave up their land Gaza, Gaza, uh, gave up their land Gaza in order to maintain peace, in order to maintain peace. And around uh, 2007, immediately 2007 or 6, immediately after uh, the, the Israeli gave up Gaza, immediately after the Israeli gave up Gaza, the, uh, the, the Hamas group took over government of Gaza. And ever since then, life has been miserable in Gaza. Life has been miserable in Gaza. And from what I've, I've heard, from what I've heard, uh, based on the research I did on Google, that about 10,000 10, Israeli, about 10,000 Israeli gave up, uh, left, left Gaza just to maintain peace. And I believe those 10,000 Israeli who left Gaza, I believe some of them has 
properties in Gaza, has lands in Gaza, but decided to forfeit all the property, decided to forfeit the land, the property, just to, just to make peace. And not just Gaza, from what I've heard that uh, not just Gaza, Israeli have gave up a lot of the Israeli have given up a lot of lands, a lot of territory to 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 to, to Palestine just to maintain peace. And if you can if you can also tell uh when the Israeli was celebrating I think their holy day which is uh which according to date I don't know if I'm getting the date correctly I believe Charlie Cock also made mention of it uh the holy day uh, from Gogo, I think it's October, October 7th, 2023. October 7th, 20, October 7th, 2023, when the Israeli were celebrating their holy day, the, 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 the terrorist group, the Hamas, uh, which is located in Gaza, attacked, attacked Israel. And that led to, that led to a loss of lives. More than 1,000 people lose their lives and there were a lot of, damage on their properties i believe that is totally unjust that is totally unacceptable and from what i've heard from previous video which charlie kicks mentioned that mentioned that uh if you check which uh, charlie kick mentioned that before the israeli attack gaza before the drop bomb in anywhere in gaza they we uh they we uh try to notify the civilian so they can evacuate those area they will try to uh, notify the civilian so they can evacuate those area. And when Gaza want to, you know, drop a bomb in Israel, they don't notify anybody. They just drop the bomb, and this has led to a lot of, uh, uh, this has led to loss of life and damage of property. And if you look at it from an ethical point of view, from an ethical perspective, you will tell that uh, the Israeli they are more moral in their way of doing things, the fact that they notify the civilians, the civilians, the citizens of uh, Gaza before the drop bomb in any way, I think that is very moral as compared to the way uh, the Hamas group, the way the way they release their bomb into, into the Israeli territory. So I believe Israel as a country, as a nation, are doing everything possible, are doing everything possible so they can address this this, this conflict between them and Gaza, between them and Gaza. But I believe the main problem, the main source of this problem is, uh, is the Hamas. It's Hamas, which has been labeled as a terrorist group. You can tell ever since they took over the governance of, of, of Gaza in, 20s, in, in, in 2007, Gaza has become more poorer as compared to, as compared to when it was being owned by the Israeli. So I believe uh, the main problem, the main problem should be the Palestine trying to address their problem, which I believe is the terrorist group, is, is a mass which has been labeled as terrorist group. So you come in to say Israeli are playing victim, Israeli are playing victim. I, 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 I think I, I, can't, I can't really accept that. Israel are playing victim, whereas their, their, citizens, their citizens are being killed they are playing they are playing victim whereas their citizens are being killed their property are being are being destroyed i don't believe that is true israeli are not playing victim rather rather the 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 the, 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 the Hamas are the one playing victim Hamas are the one playing victim i can't say israeli are are playing victim because Hamas are the one playing victim i think for 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 the young man to ask for the young man to ask such question, I believe is is totally delusional about this this whole situation, this whole matter going between uh, the Israeli and 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 Hamas, which are located and uh, which are situated in uh, Gaza. I believe that for him to ask such question, for him to say such word, how dare you say such word? How dare you ask such question? I believe it's totally delusional for him to. For him to say such word that the Israeli are the one playing victim, whereas Israeli have given up a lot of land, a lot of territory, just to maintain peace. And I believe, I believe what the Israeli are doing is totally self-defense. What the Israeli are doing is totally self-defense. And I think you can't stand, you can't stand by where someone, when someone is pointing a gun right at you, ready to shoot you, and you say you want to maintain peace. 
and you say you, you, you want to maintain peace when someone is pointing a gun directly at you because if you if you if you if you if you say you want to maintain peace so you won't take any action the next minute when the person releases the bullet you end up dead so the only way you can protect yourself is is is, is to retaliate I believe that is what the Israeli are, are doing. They are trying to, to protect their territory. They are pri trying to protect their citizens. That's why they always attack back whenever they are being attacked by Gaza, whenever they are being attacked by Hamas. They always retaliate because they are trying to protect their citizens. They are trying to protect their property. I, for one, I totally see it as, as, as self-defense. As self-defense, you can't stand by why someone is destroying your territory, someone is destroying your property, you can't stand by doing nothing. I totally see the actions the Israeli are taking as, as self-defense. And I believe I've, I've actually learned a lot from this, from this video, from this video and from Charlie Kick point of view. I've, I think I totally relate with that. So I would like to hear your opinion on this topic. Do you think Israeli are the one playing victim or do you think the, the, the uh, do you think Gaza, the Hamas group, are the one playing victim of the, of what is actually happening between Israel and Gaza? Keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Bye.